Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys a tip to be able to save some battery whenever you're browsing the internet using Google Chrome. The feature is called dark UI mode. It enables you to bring the dark UI mode directly within Google Chrome. So let's say you're using a Galaxy S10, S10e or S10 Plus, and you have the One UI dark UI mode turned on. Now this will translate directly into Google Chrome. And of course, this works on any other Android that's running the latest version of Google Chrome. This is TK, let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we push out new videos on the channel. In front of us I have the Galaxy S10 Plus and I have the Google Pixel 3 XL. The Pixel 3 XL is not running the dark UI mode so basically just you'll notice right there there's the color top and then the pages are all running white. On the right side what I have for us is the dark UI mode already turned on. I can actually jump in go back into let's say the experimental and this is where we're going to be doing some of our magic tricks here. Uh, and then we'll go over to the XDA page, we'll give it a second. You'll notice it loads the page, but it actually loads it in a darker UI. The accent color stays the same depending on the page that you're on. But if you go to, let's say, a page that doesn't have that, let's go to the Samsung account, I'll give it a second. And you notice right there, it actually does color the top and the bottom. And of course, this is Google Translate turning on. Uh, the page that we do need to actually do some modification in is actually a hidden page within the settings within Chrome. So the first thing we will need to do is essentially go to this page. It's called Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. So let's go ahead and turn that on here. Again, you'll see the same page again that's loading on both devices. On the left side, I have it in standard mode. So you have the white top as well as the white text. And there's a couple of options in here, the Android web content dark mode, as well as the Android Chrome UI dark mode that need to be turned on. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start for looking for the word Android. And then we're gonna look for the word Android web. So first thing you'll notice it there, Android web. I'll go ahead and snip enable. By default, it says disabled. It's asking us to relaunch, but we're gonna skip for a second because there's one more toggle that we need to change and we're gonna change that into Chrome. And let's see right there, here it is. Chrome dark UI mode and I'll select it and say enable. This is gonna relaunch the application, so I'll go ahead and hit it. It's gonna relaunch Chrome. So you notice that restarted the page and we have this option here where the page is in darker color, but the top has not turned on. Before we go into the settings to be able to change that option, we need to go home, bring up your recents app, and then you need to crash Chrome. And the reason behind that is it needs that force stop for that to kick in and the feature to show off in our settings tab. We'll go back into Chrome, the same page loads, again, same thing, the top hasn't colored. We'll go into the settings and then you'll notice under the set, basic option, you have an option called dark mode. And then at this point, you can just turn on dark mode. You notice right there, it darkened the UI entirely. And then when we load the same page again, we're getting the entire dark UI now at the top as well as on the bottom. So those are the two flags that you need to turn them on. And then once you do that, you can go back into the, let's say a page that you're on again, unless the page specifically calls out a specific color to the top you're going to be getting a darker color and of course and it'll do the exact same thing as it does in chrome and you'll get the entire dark ui mode directly on your phone very easy and very simple just keep in mind that the tab in the settings only disables one of the two flags and if you want to disable this and go back to normal just go back into chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and then disable these two or at least revert them back to default and that will basically get you back into your normal chrome so the process is very simple as you saw the only thing you have to have is the latest version of google chrome version 74 or later as long as you have that running on your device go into the settings and turn on both those options from default over to enable and if you want to disable them obviously just go back and revert them back to default restart google chrome and you're back to normal but i think overall uh, a dark ui mode especially on web browsers when they have a a lot of pixels and they use a lot of information especially when we're scrolling um, it helps us turning off all these pixels on OLED and AMOLED displays because overall an extended amount of usage you will definitely have some battery savings um, like and subscribe as usual share this with all your friends that may enjoy using a darker UI mode within Google Chrome I'll see you guys in the next video